Okay, for 300 bucks and one simple idea, we are about to transform this backyard area into into this. Nothing like a nice backyard. <laughs> Paradise. Dreamer. So let's start from the beginning. I wanted to transform the backyard outside the podcast studio into a nice courtyard to use for filming and for us to hang out in. I bought field turf from a farmer in Millville off Facebook Marketplace. First mistake, but we kept it going. The turf turned out to be a complete disaster and I found out quickly why it was only 150 a roll. Oh. Now I'm starting to understand. This is why it was 150 a roll. It took me hours and hours to unload. Thankfully, I had it in the dump trailer. It was so heavy, it took so much energy just to roll out and shake out. I had to use shovels and a vacuum just to get the infill out of the turf. And that brings us to now, part two of our courtyard transformation project. Let's get it going. Okay, update haven't even been filming the process of taking all of the infill out of the turf because it's so tiring and boring and taking forever. But the latest invention that I am using is this back cart here that actually is my friend Glom's. I just pushed this almost one full turnover with this car. And I put it on putting a piece of wood down here and dropping it down so I can get under more and push it again, because it worked really well. So I'm gonna try to vacuum this up a little bit and then try to push it again one more time at least. So again, I just measured it. They gave us about 40 feet instead of 30. I messed up this end. So I'm gonna cut it here. Since we have so much extra, cut it on this line so it's nice and flat because that has like a pool all in it, this section, that I don't want involved. And then run it 20 feet. I'm gonna have a yellow or orange, this yellow line across here. I'm gonna have to paint that. And then depending on how far it comes up, this has white on it from like a field turf. So hopefully it doesn't go into that that much. Although that looks kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. We'll just see, I'm gonna make this cup first and then go from there. All right, good morning everybody. Cheers to another beautiful day in paradise. So today we decided we're gonna go out early. It's about 7 a.m. and we're gonna try and beat the trash guys uh, and find some gold on the streets. So normally what we've been doing is going out the day before trash day but what we've been realizing is people don't really put their stuff out until either late at night or even the next morning so the trash and the goods aren't always out um, so we're figuring this morning would be the best time right before the trash comes but after everybody already put all their goods out so we're gonna go and we're gonna head over to one of the richest towns near us right on the beach and we're gonna go see what treasure we can find in the roadside trash. Claim it. We'll see. We'll see what's in there. Get up in here. So those things work nice, huh? 
Yeah, they're nice. It's a bootsy chair. That sucks. Damn. There ain't shit out here, guys. Maybe, maybe. Just need that one score, one of these rich people. Ooh, what's this? Look at this guy. Albert Einstein. How's this little folder? It's pretty nice, right? G-Wagon, G-Wagon. The G-Wag. The problem is, with the G-Wag, they don't throw anything out ever. Nope. This guy's building a monstrosity. It's huge. Massive. Alright, so we had an interesting character here. One of the last OGs down here. We call this the point in Longport. And it's pretty much the most valuable real estate, you know, on the island. This is where you got that little thing for concrete. I got this for concrete. Rob, I'm going to ask this guy about this light, though. The rusty light. Should we say it? Hey, you throwing those out? Yep. What's up with this light? What? This thing works, you think? It works. It takes a lot of electricity. And it gets yeah. hot, right? That, yeah, it's really nice with bad monkey. Now that's an antique. That's pretty cool. I'll get this. Thank you. He said this is from the 30s. Antique light. Probably doesn't have that much value, but somebody might want it. And an old pretzel box. With some pretzels still in it, maybe. First scores of the day, and maybe the only, we'll say. All right, what do we got here? Fireplace little blocker thing and that that's probably not that great but what is this is this for a grill I don't even know what that is is that some stuff for you no I mean that wicker thing's cool but it's obviously wrecked Got enough shitty wicker to last us a lifetime. Not sure. <laughs> very, very slim pickings out there today. No chips. That and a light, and that's it. Phew, finally, and I mean finally, I have it turned over. So, another day, another soaking, soaking wet shirt by 8 a.m. But I'm about to cut this and then put it in place and then try to figure out the last cut. So, 
I'm gonna cut this at 21 feet, which will be somewhere around here, and go from there. Okay, we're getting closer. So this piece is pretty much where I want it to be for the most part. I might put little pieces under there just to make it look better. We'll see about that though. Second piece, it doesn't look exactly the same. So I'm thinking about swapping this one and this one and moving this one closer, putting that piece in the back of this to finish it out and moving this one over. We'll see if that works. But for right this second, what I need to do is bring a sample of this just to the hardware store and get some cans of spray paint. Let me see if I can. I got a knife over here, obviously. Where did I put it though? Sample of that, take it to the hardware store. Um, try to match it as best as possible. They do sell some stuff that's like spray for this but i don't think i need to get that carried away i guess time will tell but from there spray paint the pieces put the flower boxes there and then determine what we're going to do with the fence in the back but we're getting there very um slowly but we're still getting there i'm about to run over there right now actually get the spray paint i mean that's not that far off try one of these i honestly don't even like spray painting anymore just because of the fumes but we'll see it's a little too green do you think See how it dries though. All right, so obviously the other one was not the one. It was uh, too too light, but let's try this one. It's a little more like it. It's a little dark now. No way. Is that too dark now? All right, so these I got just to hold it down, basically. It's hard to do with one hand, obviously. All right, so these babies I bought just to hold it down in the corners. They're just metal stakes. Simple to find. I got them at the local hardware store. And I, there's 75 in a box of the ones I got, which I think is enough. I'm probably going to do like four to six on each row. And then maybe some more in the middle if there's enough. So now I have to cut this one on pretty much kind of a slant. It's 77 inches 
okay towards the back of the shed but the way that this yard sits on like a weird angle from the front where the shed would actually end it's going to give us almost 80 inches to here so i'm going to put 80 inches on the on that side and then 77 on the back I'd rather cut big and then cut down than cut too small as well. So this is the general layout of how it's gonna look. This might stay, not really sure yet. If it does, I'll probably fill this in. But this will be like the entranceway here. Little fence, like probably actually the entranceway will just be like right here. Probably like a six foot fence, bamboo style fence. You walk in, there's gonna be like hedges or, or arborvitas or something in here and maybe another plant like in the middle. And then bamboo fencing, privacy fence along the back. This will this might even be in this video, so I'm not sure how it's gonna edit. It's gonna go, but that, and then possibly a fence across the front eventually. But for now, just that. And then we're gonna do like little setups with umbrellas, probably throughout a couple. And then this can be an extended area for the podcast. Uh, if it's a nice day, you could just come outside and set it up. Uh, it might be a little too windy right now, but most of the time it's probably fine. Especially if this is boxed in here, like a little courtyard. Basically a beer garden with no beer. That's what I'm getting at in my head. But it's turning out good for what I spent. Well, the work I put in, that was insane. But for what I spent so far, it's looking good. 300 bucks so far. These came free. And so 300 so far. That's probably all I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to order the paint that from Amazon that specifically for AstroTurf. And then spray that line, spray that line. And maybe do this one too, if it looks good. This white piece is kind of cool though, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so we had to make a mission to the Home Depot in Deptford, New Jersey. It's almost an hour away for this. Do you guys see that up there? Bamboo privacy fencing. This is going to really put the finishing touches on the backyard. They have so many different ones here. Look at this. So this is basically what I came for. Six feet tall, eight feet wide. What a dream. So this Home Depot is a lot more selection than the ones by us. And damn, these are, these are 50% off these ones. But the thing is, the ones up there just look so much better. Those ones are like legit, like tan. And these are kind of browned. These are 50% off. These are like 40 something. And those are like 90. But I think I'm gonna get at least probably five of these ones, of those ones. And maybe some of these though, I don't know yet. I just don't think that the, like the whole point of this is to do it so that it looks good on video. And to me, that doesn't look nearly as good as, it's worth just spending the extra money even though it's twice as much. And there 
they are, the babies. These are gonna look so nice. All right, we got the bamboo. That was pretty easy. These are gonna change the game. All right, made it back with the goods. I gotta see this. Can are you my... getting stoked? I'm getting stoked. Hottest day of the year out here, huh? So here they are, the bamboozles. You loving these? Oh my gosh, they're so nice. These are really nice, I love these. Wait until you see them up. Are these the six feet? These are six feet tall by eight feet wide. Okay. Yeah, these are really nice. Look, Luxter. Some nice new outdoor decor for you to ruin. She's gonna love this. Nice, no, she's gonna love, love it, right? Love it. Lucky likes to use everything that we get that's nice as a scratching post. But it's okay, she's a queen, so. All right, here's what we're doing. We're gonna put the bamboo fencing along this pre-existing fence here just to beautify the scene back here. And we're gonna turn this baby into like a tiki bar. Paradise. Okay, at this point we're just roasting in the heat. This is the comfort meter. I don't know how easy it is to see. But that thing is up to like 100 degrees right now. It might be at like, not, it might, it's probably at 99 actually. Pretty clearly. So what a day to pick to do this, rest of this. I will say in the last like week and a half, it's been super hot here. And in the last like five days, it's been insane. So I've been drinking, not Perrier at all, but I've been drinking like 10 to 12, no, probably like eight to 10 of these seltzers along with like eight to 10 bottles of water or cups of water, I should say, in one day, at least. Probably a gallon of water, at least. That's the back wall. It does have this little bump at the top. I knew that was going to happen because it gets higher here. No big deal. Part of the plan. Not part of the plan, but already expected it to be like that. So here it is. It's not even that easy to see. I'm going to show you guys when the light goes when the sun goes down more and this is all you can see where there's not a shadow and everything but this is primo chisel i'm not a specialist on insects or anything but i do go outside a lot what is this and why is it so hard to see up against there it's camouflaged into the black basically This is it. Making hats right now. New hats for the podcast. Freedom to dream. Coffee before claims. Purple, red, and some army. What's up with that? Check this out. Check out this gold right here. Wow. No way. No That's way. unreal. With the mango. Mangy. I love the mango. Yeah, let's see what this one looks like. 
Wow, another classic. All right, today we're gonna to be making some, the seagulls. Some hats here in the backyard with this guy. That's turning out legit fire. All you need is this machine, some blank hats, and iron-on patches, and you got yourself a whole hat making operation. <laughs> hey, wait, is this a video? Here, I got it. Thank you, dude. There it is. The Drio. This is exactly what we needed. I know we put in the other shed build video that that was the cherry on top. This is actually the cherry on top. Can't live in there in the summer without an air conditioner. Bam. Look at this thing. Inverter. That's where you know you're dreaming. Quiet and efficient. Takes up no electricity, basically. And it cools it down like a dream. All right, what's up, everybody? So, just got back from a run. First run I took all year. And we're starting to realize it is <laughs> going to be a hot summer. He said in a year. We're like five. <laughs> First run of the decade but it is gonna be a hot summer. So we're in the shed, our little mini studio that we have in our yard, and we're realizing this is like a heating box in here. So when we were building out the shed, we didn't really think about how hot it was gonna get until we were finished. We do have a solution, actually. Our good friends Dreo sent us over an air conditioner, and we just so happen to Wait, have- Wait, they did? Yeah, yeah, you know. Where is it? Uh, I mean, it's been sitting in here for a couple weeks, but we're finally going to open it today because, you know, I'm pregnant and it's hot. And actually, this, am I out of frame? So where is it? That's right there, but you know, damn well, I can't lift it. Oh, it's literally right here. Wow, how did it get there? So this is the Drio, Drio inverter window air conditioner. And it's gonna be installed in that window right there. I'll get you started there, Pops. Yeah, get that popping. Yeah. What do we got? Come on. Watch your piggies, watch your piggies. Big mama coming through. Come on. Oh yeah, this is exactly what we needed. No joke, this is saving ourselves some serious. Ooh. Wow. Hopefully, this fits in the window. What? You know what they say measure twice, then order your air conditioner. Don't just order it and think it might fit. <laughs> this is uh, a massive air conditioner. Massive air conditioner. Okay, so here. Wow. wow. This is really uh. This is nice. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful air conditioner. When that cooled out, I guess you had the box. Yes, that was the point. There you go. Muscle man. Name Daddy. Let me get this box out of the way. Oh. Wait, there's a bottom up. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild, right? All right, should I try and put it in there and see? Yeah. Let's see. Uh -huh. Not even close. Okay, we rolling? 
All right, so a little malfunction. The Dreo air conditioner does not fit in our shed's window because our shed window is too small. So like we always do, uh, we're just going to move forward and we're gonna end up, we're just gonna put this in Finley's room, but we still need a smaller air conditioning unit for the shed window, Dreo. So that's what we're doing. A little bummed, but it's not Dreo's fault. It's still a really, really nice air conditioner. It just sucks because, you know, Turner has to carry it all the way to the house. So that's what we're doing. Let's do this, right? Quite honestly, we did a promotional thing for Drio air conditioners. And we agreed to do it because we thought this would fit in the shed originally, right? So then we filmed like this video of us just putting it in a window in our house just to show how it worked. Alright, we got it in the window. It's tight fit in this window even. It's not a big air conditioner, but it's a heavy duty air conditioner. So it's basically where it wants to be, where it kind of needs to be. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the coldest room in the house for sure. That we can all agree on. Looks so nice too. Simple three step installation process here. And it comes with, it has the sealant and everything. We left it in the shed though, obviously, because we tried to do it in there first, but I think this is nice. This is gonna be a. Uh, so, all you gotta do. Is pop the window in there, extend these pieces to each side of the window. See how nice that is? Mm -hmm. You could put a screw in there, obviously, to hold it. Yeah, it came with them. Extend this one there, and then you hold out these, and that closes it off. Very simple design. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I have the remote actually. I have the remote. Oh, whoa. Wow, wow the remote turns it on. Alright, so wait, I wanted to oh, see what the LED look at was. That. What's, oh, okay, okay. No way. It just opened it up like suicide doors. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so quiet. <laughs> oh, it's on? Yeah. I didn't even know that. It's fully blowing. Wow, they weren't lying when they said it was quiet, for real. So we'll take it down to 75. Here, try the remote out. Wow. The remote's legit. Like, I like that. Look at that. Fancy. Oh, wow. Bringing it down, baby. Right there. Ice, spice, <laughs> ice, baby. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, bro. Get it. <laughs> Butters, we got the AC pumping. Oh, yeah. No sound. Can't even hear it. Look That's that nice. inverter. Yeah, this is really nice. The Drago. Wow. You know what also it does is, it'll go beyond the 8,000 mm -hmm. BTUs and cool the room down faster. So when a room's hot, it goes heavy, 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 cools the room down real quick and then after that, it'll just stay at a steady pace. But in the beginning, like if you want your stuff to be ice cold quick on like a regular AC unit, like a window unit, this cools it down way faster. Cold and snap. So Drano Arctic One's inverter technology cools your room faster by pushing its cooling capacity way beyond its 8,000 BTU rating. And the fine tuned cross flow airflow system allows the unit and we actually never even released the video yet. But now, today. This is a legit review. So, we have central air throughout our house. It works 
pretty good, but it wasn't keeping up with the heat. It's like 90 something degrees out right now. Quo! He's so mad that it's this hot out. The cats are so mad right now, but like, hey, I'm pregnant and I'm living it, so. I know, we're getting it going. He's yelling at us because he wants us to put the dryo in, turn it on. But anyway, um, it's not keeping up with the heat. It did this last summer, but it wasn't as hot as it is today. Did that make sense? Yeah. So this is a legit. No, <laughs> the actual air conditioner outside. Yeah. The cooling unit part, like the whole. It's not working. It's not working at all now. Yeah. So. so this didn't happen last year. Well, it did because it wasn't keeping up, but I didn't know that the outside <laughs> one wasn't working. So we're going to call somebody to come fix that. But in the meantime, we're doing the dry out. Hottest day of the year. And this happened. Okay, so our air conditioning fully broke, and the Drio Arctic 1 window unit came in super clutch, seeing as Sammy is in her final couple weeks of her pregnancy, and it was like 90-something, 90-plus 90 degrees outside. So this thing is actually super epic, uh, this window unit. It can cool the room way faster than a normal uh, window unit because it actually allows itself to push past its 8,000 BTU rating um, to cool the room down to where it's supposed to be and then it starts working normally after that. It's also really really quiet. It's an inverter um, style window unit because of its noise canceling structure and it's super super quiet as low as 40 dBs which if you guys listen to this and then listen to a regular uh, unit you'll see the difference. Um, it also is cheaper to run because of the way that it's built. And it's super, super easy to set up, as you guys saw in the video that you just saw. So shout out to Drio. Uh, we've worked with them in the past. This really helped us out and came in clutch. So always support the people who support us. Um, and check out the Drio if you're thinking about getting an air conditioner unit, uh, window unit. And yeah. If you want, I can put uh, all the information in the description below. And this is no joke. I'm not just saying that because we're partnered with them. This is a legit, really, really good window unit. Um, and it helped us out. Now our air is fixed, but for the two days that it wasn't, Sammy was just like basking in the air in the room. It was actually colder in the room with the window unit than it was with the central air which is absolutely crazy but yeah check it out okay so that was super easy uh plopped it right in the window works great turns on easy the arctic one drio air conditioner is a dream come true for someone who needs to cool their house down in a jiffy thank you shout out to drio check out their website we'll put all the links in the description and yeah, loving it. Thank you, it's very, very nice. Okay, we just showed up. We showed up to Ben and Jordan's house, if you don't know who that is. It's, uh, it was my sister and brother-in-law, it's Turner's brother and sister-in-law. Okay, we're gonna go. It's we just showed up, it's then you're party. gonna go to the pool. <laughs> because we have no air in the house because our air broke yeah we have the drio we have the drio in the bedroom but either way we, we were already planning this anyway so good timing okay so take two we just showed up to brigantine to the pool let's go it's gonna be insane My let's head. go <laughs> that's it that was the intro was that the intro all right that's all we got we're about to go swimming in the pool for the first time. For the first time know. this year, almost, right? Yeah, well, me, because you he's been in the ocean, but, like, I can't really, like... No, in a pool, though? When did we get in a pool last? Never. But I haven't been swimming at all, is what I was saying. That's what I was getting at. You know. How new is this pool? Brand new. This pool is three, nice. Three hours old. Yeah. No, how old? <laughs> uh, like a month old. It looks like 45 minutes they just poured the last piece and then left. This is like 
like the nicest pool. <laughs> like I just hop right in. Usually, like you're like sketch going into a pool. You're like, uh. <laughs> my mom is so high. It's like the vibe. I'm like, I'm not making it cold. Cause that's how you can't you, you can't enjoy it if you can't just hop in. Let's see. Let's test the temperature for the first time. Oh, it's like a bathing tub. <laughs> No, nah, it's not all warm, but it's like, nice. it's like the warmest pool I've been in a while. Yeah, the only. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, we haven't been in a pool. Let me try the turtle. Have we ever been? Oh yeah, like a hotel. I know, but they're like it's like funny. Those oh. are hit or miss. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. So that's like, oh, am I going into like a holiday? Uh, those <laughs> with those Georgia pools. He can though? pull you all the way up, this guy. Yeah. Like he's floaty. Well, Finn's kind of in the way, so I can only like hold Big Joe. Like you can just what? hold him. I'm in the pool, I'm having a pool party that you're not a part of. Oh my! God. Here, is that the one for yeah. Finn? Dude, yeah, but I knew that was the one. Look at that. That's loud. If it's not for Finn, it's for me. Cause like <laughs> it's actually comfy. Well, if it's for you, it's for her then. Cause I literally can just like float here. <laughs> I mean, it looks comfy. Does it? Does yeah. it actually? Is he making a world class refresher? Yeah, he makes good refreshers. I what didn't know he was such a cocktail. Ben's <laughs> making us his world class about, like, refreshers. Is it seltzer water and ice? It's seltzer water with ice. <laughs> no way. <laughs> that, I mean, it's cranberry and a little lime. Oh, that's oh, cool. Okay. It's cool. Is it famous? Yeah. It will be soon once it hits the exactly. food. Once it hits the food channel on here. We'll put it to the test and ask Vincent. The world famous, we heard. This one's lime, seltzer, and crayon. This one's milk, and... Milk? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're all, They're the, all same. the same. <laughs> They're all the same. Nobody oh, would want the milk. Oh, these are fancy. Thank you. For you. For you. <laughs> you gotta give her hers, because I, I thought... Oh, I was... yeah, I can. Thank you, Jordan. Oh. oh, wow, these are good. And they have specialty uh, Jack surfboards straws. Yeah. <laughs> he actually put the effort out? in to cut the line too. I know that. Wow, that is crazy. Jack surfboards. Good job, Bob. Wow, wow. Well, he knew. Jack surfboards. He knew it about something refreshing. Only that one has it. Oh. Okay, so we started off the summer over here in South Jersey, very mild. It was like 70 degrees almost every day, maybe like 80. And now it's a steady like 100 feel because this is the, this is what it's reading on here is literally 100. It might be like, no, nah, it's 100. It says it's like 92 degrees on my phone, but this is reading 100 in the backyard. Maybe down by the bay it's a little bit cooler because I know the beach is because we went to Atlantic City earlier just for a small walk. All right, here we are. Yeah. On the AC boardwalk, just taking a walk. World famous Atlantic City. Look at all these people. Living it up. Living it up. Summer 2022. 2022. Finn's cruising the boardwalk and doesn't even know it yet. <laughs> this is true though. I'm cruising the boardwalk. She's just hitching a ride. <laughs> uh, but what I wanted to say is it, it's getting to the point now where like before we were saying, yeah, it's any day now, it's any day now, it's any day now, but now it's like any minute that Sammy is about to give birth. Honestly, maybe could be today. It's the, what is it, the 22nd today? and her due date is the 6th of August. So yeah, we have technically like a few weeks, but the only thing is you could give you could give birth really early or like slightly early like this or on time or late. Um, so basically we're not really even going to do that much until this until Finley comes cuz basically I just want to be here like even when I went to get the turf and then when I went to pick up the other stuff from Home Depot, I was like just feeling like I had to get back to the house because like the only thing that I really care about doing this whole summer, like that's really, really important to me, is to be there when Sammy is ready 
take her to the hospital and be there with Sammy and Finley the whole time. Uh, so that's literally the only thing I'm concerned about. And I just uh, feel like we've been filming so much throughout the process of this uh, from like the beginning of when we announced that she was pregnant till now that I might as well just keep filming no matter what I'm doing, even if it's boring, and just share it and see what people say. So it's getting really, really heavy. And there's like just so many thoughts in my mind about everything right now. It's kind of overwhelming. And she's been, I can tell she's getting close because like she's been having like a lack of energy. And I said like that going to the boardwalk was like, phew, that took everything out of her. Uh, but she's not realizing how close to giving birth she actually is. And she needs to just chill. What I was gonna get into is this tree all right, so I love trees basically, and we're gonna plant some more on this property, but these two trees, first off, they're super out of control right now. And second, they're too close to the foundation of the house to really even be here. Um, and I cut them down, but the amount of growth that they've been getting each year is so gnarly. But uh, first off, what I need to do is just trim them back a little bit. And it's so hot out, but I'm gonna try to do this right now for a little bit at least. So really the first thing I got to do is like kind of just trim it down But for the most part, I think I got to go up on the roof to do this To really cut it from the top because this is out of control I th I'm gonna have to take the trees down eventually, but I feel like just giving them one more year isn't gonna affect Honestly like three four more years wouldn't affect The house I'm just saying when they get big like that freaking tree It's like you can't have that going on Because even that's too close to the ha their house We're just gonna have to go up there and take a way better look at it. This ladder is janky. So it's looking good up here though. But see how she's overgrowing everything? It needs to be chopped. That's just like, looks like a whole tree itself. That's the smallest amount of clippings off of there. Okay, so obviously we're not totally done, but this is the progress that we've made on the courtyard. It's looking pretty good. And the next stage is probably gonna be to put one of these up right here. That's probably the best uh, next idea. So eight foot long section from basically the shed out to here. And then everything else is looking pretty good. What would you say? That's perfect. Wow. It's hot out there this week. Yeah. Oh, some fresh iced tea. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Good nothing like a nice backyard all right here's the next plan let me know if you think it's good use these two one up against the shed one in the middle right. long doggy on the end right. that one so it goes all the way up mm -hmm. and then the bamboo on it Cause it'll be bamboo on that side then. Yeah. All right. All your ideas are good. All right, let's see how long this thing is. It's 
pretty long actually, it's kind of perfect. Okay, not gonna be able to get to finish what I really wanted to today. Um, so it's a work in progress. Crazy. It look, it's gonna look good though. So it's gonna be like that. Bamboo all here, all the way down the line, and maybe even in the front, like surrounding the whole scenario. We'll see how far it gets, but that could be the general idea. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, it's like 100 degrees out, it's so hot. My shirt, it's hard to tell, but it's literally just soaked. As you guys know from keeping up with the videos and the timeline of everything, that Sammy is on the verge any minute now of giving birth. So it's nice to just stay around the house and be productive and do projects like this and still just be very supportive of the whole situation. Still make content, still make videos and just wait hope and pray that everything just goes great and i know it's going to but just just the main thing on the agenda is fan that's all i'm saying but i'll see you guys in the next video i'm not sure if i'm going to include anything else but we do really appreciate all of the support we've been getting throughout the pregnancy from everybody and the continuous just like views and love and people just watching the content uh, even more so now, really, than ever, honestly. So, thank you all. We appreciate it. But that's pretty much it, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.